everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing really well so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the beauty products that i have used up so as you can see i have a massive bag here of rubbish that i have been collecting up over the past couple of weeks purely to film this video and once this video is done i can't wait to get this out of my house so today we're going to be talking about a bit of skincare a bit of makeup we've got some hair care we've got some body care basically i'm just going to tell you the products that i've used whether i like them whether i've purchased them again and yeah so let's just get into it so the first product that i'm going to talk about is hairspray so this is the got to be insta shine instant hairspray for selfie ready styles um and it is Basically it says on here that it protects hair from drying out, gloss boost, no residue and lasting hold. This hairspray has actually been really good, it's lasted me ages. I am not one of those people that uses hairspray um, regularly, but when I do, I've been reaching for this and it's been really good. It brushes out really easy, um, it keeps my hair in place all day. Um, I use the last bit of this to put my hair up right now into this little bird's nest. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this has actually been really good but i struggled to find it like i did want to go back and repurchase this um but i couldn't find it anywhere so i've had to go and buy a mark hill one which is really good and i really do like that one um but once i've run out of my mark hill one and i can get my hands on this and i will definitely be repurchasing this um because it is really good and it's super cheap what more could you want from a hairspray so the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is eyeliners and I've got four of them here. So I've got two of the star stamp liners from the body shop. I've got a, what is this, a skinny felt eyeliner from the body shop also. And then I have a revolution, the liner revolution from makeup revolution. Um, I prefer um, to use ink uh, felt tip eyeliners just because I find that they don't smudge and um, they last all day and these have been really good however I haven't used these for a very long time um, and I went to use them today to try out doing a winged eyeliner and they've all dried up and they're either that or they're about to dry up and they just keep skipping and that's why if you can see on camera that I have got uneven wings at the minute um again let's not comment about that i've had a bit of a difficult day it's been challenging let's put it that way um but yeah these have been really really nice eyeliners and um, they haven't smudged um they do the job they're really black they dry down really quickly um yeah if i would i repurchase these again yeah i would um i don't really um have anything negative to say about them and um, yeah they're just really good eyeliners really especially the skinny felt one out of all of them the skinny felt one is my favorite just because you can either get a super thin line or you can build it up to be thicker and um, whereas the other ones do produce quite a thicker line um so out of all of them i think if i couldn't get my hands on this i would definitely buy any of these the two um but if i could get my hands on the skinny felt one then yeah i would do buy it again that's my preference this is a travel size um tea tree and witch hazel foaming face wash from boots and um i bought this last september because i went away for a couple of nights and yeah it's been really good and um, i really like it um occasion i'm not one of these people that just get breakouts quite a lot um, but when i have had breakouts this has been actually really good um just to kind of wash my face with it's kind of helped keep my um, skin clear and it's not overly drying either like i do have dry dry skin which is prone to sensitivity and it's been with been fine with my skin um, and would I buy this again yes I would it's super cheap um, and it's perfect for traveling if you're going away for a couple of nights or on holiday or whatever um, yeah I would definitely definitely repurchase that again ah so the next thing I'm gonna pull out is <laughs> I love this shampoo and conditioner and um, so these these two products are the Garnier Ultimate Blend Shampoo and Conditioner 
um, they're colour illuminators with argan oil and cranberry um, for coloured hair. This is actually the second lot um, of shampoo and conditioner that I've bought um, and it's just really nice. It smells gorgeous. Like, and the smell lasts all day where, and it's just so nice. So every time if I'm like outside and the wind blows my hair and I get a waft of this scent and it's just so so good it doesn't dry my hair out um it kind of like nice leaves like a nice little bit of volume to my hair but it doesn't make my hair go greasy really quick um it helps to keep my color um, lasting for longer it's really hydrating um because it's got it's got the argan oil in there and yeah it's just a really really good affordable brand as well so if you've got coloured hair um, and you want to keep your colour fresh and also keep your hair hydrated and you love the smell of cranberry then I would definitely recommend this and yes I will be repurchasing. Okay. So the next thing that I have um, is again from the body shop and this is the Chinese ginseng and rice clarifying polishing powder wash god that was a mouthful <laughs> so this is actually a powder um, which you pour into your hand and then you add drops of water to it so the more powder you use the less water you have it's more like of a more like an exfoliator whereas if the less powder you have the more water you add it kind of turns into a foamy wash um, it's really nice for your skin um, I found that it's kind of hydrating it really does help to um, exfoliate the skin as well um, and it smells quite nice um, and it's just yeah it's just a nice little product I believe that this is £9.50 and you do get 33 grams of product in it um, I know that there are other I think it's Dermalogica I think that sell a, a powder wash and I think that's like £40 um, and this is obviously £9.50 it is quite a small bottle um, I didn't use it very often so it did last me a long time but I think if you were to buy this and you used it twice a day regularly I think this would run out pretty quick so even though this is a, like a really nice product and it left my skin feeling nice and it made it feel really clean um, for the price again I know £9.50 you can spend you know god knows how much money on a face wash but i think for the size of the bottle and the amount that you get for the money and potentially it might not last a long time value for money wise i don't think it's the best um however it's not a bad product in terms of like how it left my skin feeling um next thing from the body shop so <laughs> just a little disclaimer so the reason why there's so many body shop products in this um video is because I used to be a body shop at home consultant um, for about a year and a half and then I gave that up five months ago and as a result of giving that up I did have like quite a lot of products left over which I'm trying to get through which I have used up so that's why there is quite a few body shop products in here. This next product is the vitamin E hydrating toner um, I think we all know this is like an iconic range from the body shop if you are a body shop fan and um, this range has been around for god knows how many years and this particular range is suitable for all skin types vitamin e is really good for the skin um it's got wheat germ in it and it's just super hydrating yeah i there's nothing bad to say about this product it to be honest like as i said i do have dry skin it did give my skin a little bit of moisture, I must admit, but I've used other toners that have given me a lot more hydration for what my skin needs. There's nothing bad about this product at all. Um, it is a nice product, it smells quite nice. Um, would I repurchase this again? Maybe, yeah, I probably would. I've got nothing bad to say about it, but yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just a little bit indifferent about it. One is also a toner. So this is the Pixie Retinol Tonic. So it's a retinol and jasmine flower advanced youth preserving toner. So this is obviously by the brand Pixie. Last year I actually got this for free. So if you know about the website Cool Beauty, if you don't know, get to know because I freaking love it. <laughs> like I bought 
some Christmas presents and also some birthday presents around about October time last year. And if you spent a certain amount of money, you've got a goodie bag with the best of 2019 products that were sold on Cool Beauty and this is full size so it, I think it's 250 ml and this was one of the products that I got in there and um, generally I think this tone is quite expensive I think it's around about 18 pounds I think um, I would never have thought to have bought this but because I got this in the bag I thought Do you know what I'm going to give it a go and I actually really quite like it it's got a really nice scent to it um, which is quite relaxing I kind of felt that it made my skin feel hydrated in terms of like retinol I think retinol I don't know if like somebody in the comments down below correct me but this is meant to like help resurface the skin um i don't think it really did much in terms of resurfacing for my skin even though i've used it every single day twice a day um and i have had to use a spf with this to make sure that my skin doesn't get damaged when i go out during the day um but yeah i mean in terms of like a toner it it's all right um would i repurchase this Mm, potentially if I had a spare £18 to chuck around then yeah probably I would yeah I would because I did like it so next one we're going on to deodorant so Nivea is actually my favourite brand of deodorant to use so this is the Nivea Antiperspirant Pure Invisible deodorant with 48 hour protection and it's anti-residue with 0% alcohol. I love Nivea deodorants. I've been using Nivea for god knows how many years. Um, generally I try to use another one from Nivea if I can get my hands on it because I do prefer it slightly more. Um, but at a time when I was looking for deodorant I couldn't find the other one that I had and I picked up this and this one's really nice. It doesn't leave any marks on, on my clothes or anything like that, particularly if I'm wearing darker clothes like blacks. Um, it's been really nice, it's really gentle on my skin. I myself prefer roll-on deodorants because aerosols just irritate my underarms and I end up with really bad rashes. Um, and that's why I really love this because it's gentle to my skin. And yeah, just an all-round good deodorant really. If you're looking for one that kind of keeps you smelling fresh all day, um, and an antiperspirant, then I definitely recommend giving this one a go. I think it's normally about two pounds, just over. Um, well worth the money. You can't really say much more about the deodorant thing. Hand wash. <laughs> so again, this is another body shop. Um, product so this is the spa of the world Tahitian tiara hand wash um, again I bought this when I was a consultant and I did yeah I bought this when I was a consultant for the body shop um, and this smells really really nice um, for £7.50 for 275 mils of hand wash I do think it's on the expensive side but again, if you want a little bit of luxury for hand wash, then this is really quite nice. It's not an antibacterial, um, but again, if you just want a nice hand wash just to kind of make your hands... <laughs> My God, today is not going well. But <laughs> yeah, if you just want a nice little hand wash just to kind of keep your hands smelling fresh or to put in your bathroom because the bottle is aesthetically pleasing um, then yeah I would recommend it it is £7.50 but at the end of the day it's hand wash okay um, <laughs> oh, this is like the makeup remover made by the devil so I can 100% guarantee that I will not be repurchasing this product. I absolutely hate it. So this is The Body Shop Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I absolutely hate it with a passion. Um, so much so that when I went into my bathroom earlier, I stood this, I saw this stood on the cabinet and I was like, I'm never gonna pick that up again and use it purely because it stings the hell out of my eyes when I use it. I have never had um, a makeup remover hurt my eyes as much as this one. And it's meant to be gentle. Like, <laughs> I think that's a little bit misleading. Um, it's just the worst makeup remover I've ever had. 
it, it doesn't do well at breaking down any kind of like mascara or anything like that. Um, I've had to go in multiple times with cotton pads to try and get rid of my mascara when I'm using this um, and it just irritates my eyes so bad. Um, I must admit I actually threw the rest of this away that was in the bottle. I haven't used it. I'm not even going to give it to anybody else to use because I don't recommend it. <laughs> don't buy it. Um, yeah, it's just... Ugh, I can't wait to get that out of my house, quite frankly. So we ain't got to say no more about that. <laughs> the next one product that I've got is the... Again, it's from Boots and it's the Tea Tree Witch Hazel Exfoliating Face Scrub. And this is a travel size one. Um, so with, remember with the face wash that I showed you earlier, um, I bought this at the same time because again, I was going away and I just wanted like a little exfoliator. Um, again, really nice product doesn't dry out my skin um the exfoliating granules in it are not too harsh on my skin either it left my skin feeling really smooth um yeah it's just an all-round nice little product would i purchase this again yes i would because i think it's worth it okay, so the next product is this so this has well and truly been used and abused <laughs> so this is the head and shoulders supreme color protect with argan oil it's got zero parabens phosphate i can't even read it properly so it's got zero parabens phosphate and colorants in it so this is actually the head and shoulders conditioner not the shampoo uh, the shampoo that i had to go with this ran out a while ago um but i've been using head and shoulders for years i do get really bad um flakes on my scalp and my head can be quite itchy at times so i do use head and shoulders occasionally to help settle my scalp down and again because i have colored hair this one is for colored hair um super cheap as well um I'm sure we all know what head and shoulders is it's been around for years the next thing that we've got is the this is a travel size so this is the clinique two-in-one cleansing micellar gel and light makeup remover so I got this in like a little gift set and that I bought for myself last year and to be honest with you like I've used Clinique products before and they've been really good but this was just absolutely rubbish at taking off my makeup like I know today that I've got quite heavy makeup on um but when I've just like only had a tiny bit of makeup on it just doesn't seem to do anything it doesn't seem to break my makeup down at all so it, I can then easily remove it um I would never ever go out and buy a full size of this I just don't think it's worth it I don't think it works properly um yeah it's I'm a little bit disappointed because Clinique's quite a good brand and I have used other products by Clinique before and they've performed really well. So when I saw that I got this in the gift set, I was actually really excited to use it. But after using it, I was just really disappointed, um, which is quite sad. But then again, I guess most brands do have really good products that they absolutely kill it at and then all the products that they do are not quite so good but yeah for me I would never ever go out and purchase this as a full size because I just don't think it's worth it and I just don't think it really works properly. In the next two products we're nearly there I'm going to talk about these two products together and then I've got three more left in the bag um <laughs> so this was actually a really good cheap find that I found in Aldi so these are the La Cura Q uh, can't speak these are the La Cura Q10 Renew Day Cream with SPF 20 and then we've got the um Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream now if you use Nivea Q10 um, facial cream which I have done in the past um it's it's a really good it's a really good cream um but it is I think it's around about 10 pounds a pot I think I think when I looked at the price of this in Tesco's I think I went yeah I think when I looked in when I went into Tesco's a few weeks ago um I just wanted to kind of like check out what the price was and I'm pretty sure um it was 10 pounds and a few months ago I was in Aldi and I saw these and I was like oh my god they look like Nivea um they were one pound 45 each um they smell like Nivea um they the consistency is like Nivea it's basically just a Nivea dupe and the packaging is so similar I do not know how Aldi get away with it because they have so many like dupes in there it's unreal um 
but yeah one pound 45 each if you are if you love Nivea um day and night cream um but you're kind of sick and tired of paying the price for it then i would definitely recommend getting down to aldi and giving these a go um because they are a lot cheaper and they smell like they make my skin feel really soft and obviously with day cream as well you've got your spf 20 in there so you've got a bit of sun protection um yeah i think it's really good and i have already repurchased these and i am using them um at the minute so yeah i will continue to repurchase these because i actually think they're a really good find and it's actually my favorite moisturizer at the minute which i'm all loving so the next thing that i'm going to talk about this again is a little sample size so earlier on when i was talking about the pixie retinol tonic that i um, toner tonic that i got in my court beauty gift bag last year i also received this augustina's beta the rich cream now this is like a little sample size um, and it's a moisturizer for your face and it's more like the consistency of a night cream and when using it it is absolutely beautiful like again as i've said previously in this video i've got really bad dry skin um this this just felt like no other cream that i've ever used before and i was like oh never heard of this brand but the cream is just amazing i would it is it does feel a lot nicer than the one pound 45 one i must admit L'Oreal Hydrogenous, Hydrogenous Aloe Water. It is a gel based moisturiser um, and again it's just super hydrating on the skin. I think normally this is about £10 but when I picked it up, I picked this up like last summer um, on sale and I got it for like £6 but I think the normal price of this is £10. During the summer, during the warmer weather, I prefer to use a gel based moisturiser. Um, just because it just feels a lot lighter on my skin and also during the warmer weather my skin doesn't seem as dry which is really weird but yeah would I repurchase this yeah I would because it's super cheap and um, I try and get this if it was on offer um because I don't really like paying excessive amounts of money for my moisturizer this is actually really good and I do recommend it if you're looking for a cheap moisturizer and then the final product that I've got is from the body shop which is the white musk shower gel white musk is just one of those classic scents that the body shop do it's been around for years and i do like it there are other scents by the body shop within the musk range that i prefer and um, i do have a new, new uh, i do have another full size of this in my bathroom and i will use it um but would i repurchase it again not no i wouldn't what am I on about? Now, I do have another um, full size of this in my bathroom that I haven't opened yet. Um, and would I repurchase it once that one's finished? Actually, probably not. White musk is not, it's an okay scent, it doesn't smell offensive to me at all, but I'm not a massive fan of it. Um, but I will use it or probably actually give it to one of my sisters or something like that that wraps it up for today's video of me talking about all my beauty products that i've been using up and whether i would repurchase them or not um i hope you've enjoyed it and if you've used some of the products that i've also used yeah let me know down below in the comments if you've got the same opinions as me on some of these products if you've used them before or if you've got different experiences when using them i'd really like to know so <clears throat> that concludes everything excuse me <laughs> obviously i hope you enjoyed this video um obviously if you like it give me a big thumbs up and let me know if you would like to if you would like me to do another one of these um videos again because again i do have some more products that i'm coming to near enough the end of so maybe in a few weeks time i could do this again um so yeah let me know so i'm just going to leave it here for today and i'm going to stop rambling i hope you have um a lovely evening and i shall see you all in the next video bye